Hello, this is Tony Heller from realclimatescience.com. The press continues to insist that Greenland is melting down and it's going to cause sea level to rise and drown coastal cities. The usual suspects in the press, like the Washington Post, Associated Press, and the BBC, say that Greenland is experiencing unprecedented ice loss. We've seen the propaganda, now let's look at the actual data. The Greenland melt season has ended. Over the past 12 months, the surface of the Greenland ice sheet has gained about 470 billion tons of new snow and ice. This is about 100 billion tons above the 1981 to 2010 average. Four out of the last six years, the surface of the Greenland ice sheet has gained above average amounts of snow and ice. 2020 was just below average. That was when the BBC said Greenland had experienced unprecedented ice loss. That clearly wasn't true, but facts don't make any difference to the BBC. This graph shows surface mass gain or loss of the Greenland ice sheet every day for the past year. Over the past four days, Greenland has received about 18 billion tons of new snow. During the past year, Greenland's surface has gained mass on 296 days and it's lost mass on 68 days. And the really interesting thing about this is that most of the excess gain has been along the coast at lower elevations, exactly where the press claims the ice is melting. Let's look at a couple of specific glaciers now. Greenland's largest glacier, the Jacobshaven Glacier, retreated very rapidly from 1850 to about 1950. But that's not happening anymore. Now NASA says the glacier is growing. Greenland's other very famous glacier, the Petermann Glacier, has been growing about one kilometer per year every year for the past decade. Things weren't always like this in Greenland, though. In 1939, Greenland was melting down very quickly. The leading Arctic expert, Dr. Hans Allman, said, It may without exaggeration be said that the glaciers of Greenland, like those in Norway, face the possibility of a catastrophic collapse. Here's an article from February 1952, 70 years ago. Dr. William S. Carlson, an Arctic expert, said last night that polar ice caps were melting at an astonishing and unexplained rate and were threatening to swamp seaports by raising ocean levels. In other words, the press is saying exactly the same thing now they were saying 70 years ago. Facts do not make any difference to the mainstream media. They have an agenda to demonize low-cost, reliable energy, and they're not about to let actual science or actual data interfere with their agenda. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this scam for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Curie Caesar, Toki, and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.